When I read the pilot, I called my agent and I said, I knew this was a hit the minute it was delivered to my door. I could tell before I opened it. I just knew it. And then when I read it, I said, oh, I'm perfect for the role of Blanche. She said, well, they have Betty White in mind for that role. They want you to read Rose. And she said, Betty who? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I did. That's what I did. Yes. And I said, oh, well, I don't really have a handle on Rose, but I'll, I'll go do it. I want to be a part of this. So I was reading Rose for Jay Sandrich, obviously without my handle. Mm -hmm. And he said, I'm going to ask you to do something unorthodox. Will you go down the hallway and just look at the role of Blanche? I said, well, surely if I have to. <laughs> <laughs> So I came back very quickly, and he said, let me hear you read it, and I did, and then he said, thank you very much, and that was that. Then I was called in again, and this time Betty White was there, and uh, she didn't have a clue yet about Blanche versus Rose, and he <laughs> said, now, Rue, I'd like you to read Blanche, and Betty, I'd like you to read Rose, and she said, oh, okay, <laughs> and uh, they heard us read, he heard us read, they heard us read. And the next thing I know, I'm getting called by Susan Harris saying, is there anything you can do to get B. Arthur to do this show? Because we'd worked together on Maud. And I said, oh, I, I've been wanting to work with her again. I could for a call. I called B. And I said, what is the matter with you? This is the best <laughs> script you're ever going to read. And she said, Rue. <laughs> 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 I'm not interested in doing Maud and Vivian meet Sue Ann Nivet. <laughs> I said, no, it's the other way around. I'm playing the vamp. Betty's playing the nitwit. <laughs> she said, oh, no, that's very interesting. <laughs> And the next thing I know, the three of us have been called in to read for Network. And we wowed them. 